Um, I think you have to be happy when you've come away from home first game and not conceded, but look, we should have won the game. Um, we've dominated from start to finish. Created a few chances, good chances, where they didn't just quite go in for us or get the rubber green. Their goal, he's got man of the match, which tells you everything. Um, and there was no part of that game where I felt worried that we was going to lose it. It was just, are we going to going to win it and get the, the three points that we deserve? But we didn't, and we're disappointed. But like I said to the lads in there, we, we put hell of a shift in. We are body short. Obviously, we've got injuries, so um, the lads put a really good shift in today. And I thought thought we, we were really good out of possession, um, and with a little bit more quality at, at the vital moments, I think we win the game and potentially win the game comfortably. Um, the keepers made a few excellent saves and. Obviously, we've hit the crossbar. I don't know how that one went in. Um, Craney had a, had a second half that, that maybe on another day he scores. Um, but I'm not going to be I'm not going to be negative about it. We've, we've 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 come away from home to a club. Yes, they've had changes, but these were in the playoffs last year, so we've come away, been comfortable keeping a clean sheet um, and got a point. So we'll take that and we've got to capitalise it on it in in the, in the coming games at home. Is it pleasing that Marcus didn't really have much to do today? Yeah, it'll always be, I'll always be pleased if Marco's got nothing to do because it means we're either dominating possession or we're defending really well. So, yeah, Marco's had a, an easy afternoon today. Um, doing a bit of sunbathing. Didn't really have to have to do anything at all. Um, so, he'll be pleased with that. Um, but, yeah, we're just, we're just moving forward. Look, we're recovering. We've got two, two training days as well now, so we've got three weeks so we can um, put a bit more into the lads in terms of um, what we want and roles and responsibilities. Um, and we'll be all guns blazing on Saturday. Um, how pleased are you to now finally have the league underway? Yeah, it's, it's, as, a, as a manager, as a player, when you're involved in football, you you can't wait for the start of the season. Pre-season's good. It's good to get back after a break and, and get some work into the lads and, and so on and so forth and meet the lads and, and socialise again. But um, you, you want it to mean something and you want points to be on offer um, and to be, be played for. So, yeah, it's nice for it to start. And it's, it's no doubt not we've got a free week this week, but it will be hectic. And... Yeah, overall, good start to be unbeaten. Yeah, yeah, it was a good look. It was a solid performance. It wasn't just a, a, a point on the road where we was um, hanging in there. We was putting our bodies up. We dominated. We, we was comfortable. Um, I thought I thought it was a good performance, really. Just We were just missing that vital one goal that got us the three points, which would have made it extra special. But hopefully that we get that on Saturday. But overall, good start with the new signings clicking already. Yeah, look, we, we brought bodies in. And obviously, we... We took our time, we got the right bodies in and I think it's shown today, I think we're stronger than we were last year. We had a lot, well we did, we lost there last year 2-0. I know it's different circumstances and a different team, but, but we'd have lost this last year. So we, I think we got four, four or five clean sheets last year in the whole season. So we've got one here and if we continue in this vein, we're definitely going to score goals. Um, possibly still looking to bring a body in for next week as well. So yeah, it's all positive. Unlike last year, obviously, we started already with a point and clean sheet. But obviously, last year, our problem was also scoring as well. So, how important is it that next week against Bromsgrove that we get a couple of early goals? they've come away with a point um, I'm still scratching my head really but um, yeah they'll be happier with a point than us I suppose because we should have took all three but we'll take it In terms of injuries any news on that? No still as it as it was I think Noah's still a little bit away um, Fitzy is probably still going to be 10 days Harry Knight's the same so <laughs> we are a little bit short but I've said it many times that's football we've got good young players in our, in our, in our football club in the academy that, that obviously Manti and Colin Grogan and Aaron Hall and Luke Betts work with and so they're there for me so I'm not going to sit here and grumble saying oh we've got all these injuries oh we've got all these injuries we we'll just get on with it and, and it means opportunities for others and moving on as I said to Saturday home to Bromsgrove we've now got like three or four home games at home how do you see that? That'd be a tough one Bromsgrove always touted at the start of the season to be one of the favourites I think they've got fairly 
healthy budget and obviously they've, they've got a, a really good location for them to, to recruit from. So I, I imagine look, it's going to be a really difficult game. They all are. There's no easy games in this division, but we're at home. Obviously, we know our pitch is, is in my opinion, the best grass pitch in the, in the division. Um, so hopefully we, we can have that intensity that we've had today, that aggression, that, that um, mental state of, of not not going to lose a game, but then also have that flair and, and going forward, creating chances to, to hopefully get goals as well. And uh, we talk about new signs. Obviously, today we had Evan come in like one or two days ago, only just been done. How pleasing is it to have him back at the club? Yeah, look, I've, I've known Evan a long time. He, obviously, when I first come back to the club, he was in, in the reserves when I was taking it. Um, I released him, um, but it wasn't because he wasn't a good footballer. It was because he needed to go and play football and he probably wasn't going to get the minutes he needed. And I said that to him at the time. He's obviously gone away and done really well at Stowe scored goals and, and, and sort of forged a career for himself and now um, he'd become available and he interests me he's, look I know what he's about he, he's got energy he works hard he's, he's a great lad he's, he's a good footballer so um, with the injuries we had it was a no-brainer to bring him back so I'm delighted to have him Cheers Kev